But this is, uh, this is the final piece in the book. It's called The End of It. It's a poem in seven parts. The End of It. One. To end doesn't mean that something is a failure. A character in a movie once told me. Everyone ceases to exist. It doesn't mean everyone's a failure. And so I tell this to people all the time to explain us, our slow unraveling, how our great love dissolved to white, and in its place, this new thing, friendship. Because our romance ended doesn't mean it failed. I say it was a great success. We loved so much, so hard, so long. We loved until we couldn't love anymore. Two, when you and I talk now, I flood with joyful relief. The engine of my love still running under this new hood. The trunk of this new friendship holding so much. Three, when are you going to get angry? A divorcing friend of mine asks. Never, I respond. He's not a bad person for not being in love with me anymore. To say it out loud. To mean it. To know it, true as a toothache. To remember how badly I wanted it back. Your love. How hard I fought. But in the end, how even I knew like how trees know to let go of their leaves, that nothing can stop the winter. Four, when someone asks after you now, their faces are like a slow motion flinch. They love you so much, they can't help but wary a dark cloud. When someone asks about me now, their faces are like my high school guidance counselor. So sure everything will work out fine, but they never actually look at me. Five, details are not important no matter who asks what or how or why. It's whether we stick the landing. To me, the ending is all that matters in old love. We made it. We are on the other side and we are okay. Six. We did not become villains. We did not become martyrs. We did not become broken. We did not become strangers. We became different. We became friends. We became a pair of boots, which at first blistered us to blood, but that we can now pull on easy, every day, worn and comfortable, knowing that we can walk through anything. Seven. In the end, know this, I regret nothing, not the beginning, not the finish, not any moment in between, all the poems, all the photos, every kiss I demanded from you in the kitchen, every drop we collected in our bucket hearts. New York feels like a dream to me now, he once told me, and I understood exactly what he meant. Yesterday, I was given a photo of us in our first year. My hand on your cheek, your happy paw on my waist. We didn't even know the picture was being taken. Our faces are two bright suns shining only for each other. My God, I couldn't help but think. I wonder if I will ever be in love like that.